Well, we seem to have a sound problem, so um, let's get the warm-up guy on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome one of the bottom five warm-up men in the country, Mr. Bobby Chariot. Thanks a lot. Been to college, Jim. <laughs> Didn't do much bleeding good, did it, really? <laughs> All right, how you diddling? <laughs> well, bloody sod you, then. <laughs> All right, they seem to have had a breakdown. Uh, rather like me, you know. <laughs> Since my wife threw me out, I've been living in my jag, you know. I'm separated from my two lovely kids, Laura and Ashley. <laughs> no, hang on, they're me whippets. I can't remember what my kids are called. Anyway, do a few jokes, keep you laughing along, eh? Have you ever noticed, right? You go into a restaurant and there's a sign on the wall and it says, Thank you for not smoking. And I think, but I am smoking. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, um, I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than British rail sandwiches, is there? Eh? Nothing worse. Apart, perhaps, from uh, electro-torture to the genitals. Um, <laughs> has anybody here had electrodes attached to their genitals? Yes, I have. <laughs> well, I mean, that must be painful. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as I was saying about my comedy, it's observational, you know what I mean? Has anybody here seen that uh, advert for sanitary towels, It's My Life? Have you seen that one? I haven't, is it good? <laughs> yeah, it's my, uh, my comedy, it's very observational. Like, you know, you, you ring your ex-wife, right, and uh, she picks up the phone, but you don't say anything, you know, and she's on the other end going, who is it, who is it, who is it? And then you're frightened to say anything, you know, because, because you don't know what sort of mood she's in, but she knows who it is, and she's going, Bobby, it's you, you bastard, get off the line, leave us alone, Bobby, you're a bastard, you're a bastard, Bobby, you're a bastard. And we're back. <laughs> We've got BT breakdown. Where is the warm-up man? You know, uh, since my wife took me out and I've been sleeping in my jag, you know, cooking's been a bit difficult, you know what I mean, you know. But uh, I'll tell you what, love, I've got one of them things that you can plug into your cigar lighter, you know, so I can uh, cook up a bachelor's cup of soup with crispy cretins in it, you know. <laughs> Most of the time, though, I like to come eat here in the canteen because we do a lovely tandoori kidneys Malawi. Oh, it's cracker it is. What, now, what did I have last night? Oh, hang on, let me... <laughs> oh, yeah, prawns Tobago style, yeah, yeah, great. Okay. Anyway, love, I don't know if you fancy coming out after, because I know this little wine bar, back. you know. It's where people sort of whine and... Am I on? <laughs> no, honestly, love, I'm not that sort of bloke. I'm a married man. I just want to look at them. I don't want to touch them. <laughs> and then after, I'll take you backstage to meet Angus Deaton, like I promised. <laughs> Am I on? <sighs> I don't smoke. And the fat bloke in a suit returns next Thursday again at 9 o'clock.